Hello, hello. I have got to tell y'all something. See, I was editing some videos and Chris was talking all this mess, but I have to let him know that it doesn't come for free. I'm about to lay the smacketh down on him. You hear me? The smacketh. Yup. It is not free. I've got me some special tools in this bag. And I'm about to get after it. to tell y'all right now he's trying to give me this squeaky reel the one that ain't got no drag cheater cheater pumpkin eater mmm how he give me the Shakespeare all right guys so we're out here on the water we've discussed all the build up to this competition Hannah's getting baited up I'm gonna try to keep this thing friendly, but uh, we're gonna put 30 minutes on the clock. Whoever's got the most fish, when that 30 minute timer goes off, uh, it's the winner. We we're not we're, gonna, we're not gonna keep the wages. We're not gonna uh, reveal the wages. We're gonna be we're gonna be a little close with that. Oh, oh, we all need another wages before we start. We'll discuss them in a minute. <laughs> and uh. Wages might end up with you having to wait on me hand and foot. That's what he said in the last video. But, uh, stay tuned. We'll show you guys this clock we're going to put on. And fish only count. I was giving you guys the rules. Fish only count if it lands in the boat. So, uh, stay tuned. He gave me an old crooked hook just from the get-go. Stay tuned with us. And, uh, guys, don't miss this smackdown. Don't miss it. It's going to get ugly. Let me get my phone out here and we'll put that clock on. We're going to get baited up. We're going to drop baits in. All right, guys. There you see it. That 30-minute clock's going. We're going to let her get a head start on putting the bait down. And uh, I'm going to get baited up. Get to commencing. Stay with us. All right, guys. So here's the bait setup I chose. We got double weight egg sinkers here that I'm holding on to. We got a piece of turkey liver. That's right. I said turkey. Got a piece of turkey liver here in the middle. And just above him. We got the double rig, the stinger rig on. Got old turkey, turkey esophagus there. So we're gonna get this thing thrown out and see what happens. Let's drop them on down. I'm sure that camera's picking it up, but the kids are in the background back there. They're on the little ATV rig and they're getting after it. And then I got rods out. Been out a short while. And uh, we're just relaxing and focusing and anticipating. Everybody wants to catch you first. Now one thing about competition is it's healthy. Because uh, somebody's got to win and of course Hound's got to lose. And uh <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm right there. Miracle didn't seem like she seemed to agree with that. She can get here and take a whooping as well. Just wanted to give you guys that update. We're still sitting here waiting it out. Stay tuned. So guys, as you can see that clock, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause it right there. Hannah and I are both getting skunked out here and it's getting dark and we've got some chores that we hadn't done yet. So we kinda, it's zero zero. So we've kinda both agreed on a day two. So stay tuned, we're crew headed in. I opened the gate, okay. She's gonna open the gate for her. She said she got a parking for the night. How'd it run? Right. Close it up. All right, y'all. We're back for day two. 
of this fishing extravaganza throwdown showdown in Motown. Hannah and I about to go at it like Gary Payton and Jordan did in 96. Got to go at it. But uh, we got some hooks. The Santiago family came and visit with us today. Wanted some fish, but we didn't have any hooks. Hannah's got the hooks in her hand. And uh, she got a bag of funyun amongst some other things. But uh, about to get after it. Stay tuned. All right, guys. We got, we're headed to the area. We got that 30 minutes. Hannah and I has agreed to kind of restart that thing since we're kind of getting stomped anyway. What do you say? Yeah, definitely. So we're headed over here to... I got to head it to a hole. I don't want to tell. It's called Coney Island. We're headed over here to Coney Island. I'm, I've got the double rig going today. A little secret made up top. A little turkey gives it down at the bottom. Stinger rig. And we'll go ahead and get pedaled over. I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all before this thing got real ugly that, uh, Hannah's getting ready to take another whooping. And it's going to be similar like the whoopings I lay on everybody else that I mentioned at the start of this thing. We'll see about that. I forgot to mention Willie from Decatur. I whooped him twice, and I didn't even mention that. Hannah's on that list. She's on that list. Did How I? did you put me on a list that um, our competition isn't even over yet? You might be right. So uh, let's, here it is. He's starting this thing right now. Baits down. Drop your baits. Prepare for a whooping. Prepare for a whooping. Drop it right there. Drop it down. No, you didn't say drop it. We did. We said baits down. Guys, this is what I mean. She wasn't listening and following directions. It's, it may cost her a fish. It may cost her... Can't let Hannah whoop me. You reel that rod three reels down to the bottom, old Justin said. Fish don't count unless it enters the boat. I believe that was oh, the agreement. Oh, that's a rule you added on afterwards. Guys, Hannah, when Hannah, when she gets a chance to edit this footage, she'll see. It was in the first agreement. I'm just bouncing that thing off the bottom. If any of you need a lesson on bottle bumping, check out Richard Jean. That's where I learned how to do that. And I've been whooping people ever since. Ask Jeffrey. I took him out to try and I beat him out of a brand new rod and reel combo. If he sees it, he knows I ain't lying. One time I whooped him so bad he had to buy me a new rod and reel. And then that was Montez. We got old footage a month too. I whooped him. I whooped him so bad the boat stopped running. We had to get hauled in by rope. And I got pictures of that if y'all think I'm telling the field. But Hannah's about to get more of that same treatment. Right, Maria? I think I just got bit by a spider. Oh, may I've been on good one. Any old excuse to do. We'll check back in with you guys when we get hooked up. Stay tuned. The dragon <laughs> We're ready for all the excuses. There's no Hannah just on missed her no first way. fish. He tried to take the hook with him. <laughs> Listen. I, I guess my turn is next, guys. <laughs> looks like we're having a slow day, so it looks like it almost come down to the first person to catch a fish may win this thing. Stay tuned. Listen. Guys. Dinks so don't count. <laughs> Dinks so don't count. Guys, we're hooked up. You got to bring it in. It looks in. like we'll land this thing. I, excuse me, you interrupted my celebrity. Uh, uh, <laughs> award-winning speech here interrupting my award-winning speech i just want to tell all you out there that follow this thing that the, the journey is the reward uh it's gonna be sweet bittersweet because i'm gonna hate to have to work hannah this week but she's gonna have to wait hand and foot and she now joins that list with uh some of the rest of you yes feet up guys she now joins that list with some of the rest of you and i mentioned at the start of this thing so lesson number one we're gonna take from this guys is don't ever go against Chris when it comes to fishing. He's the best in the world. You haven't even pulled the fish in. Let's get this thing landed, guys. I might land. I might just. Well, take it easy. It's, hey, it's indoor behavior if you come in here. Oh my God, he's skin hooked barely. I'm gonna have to just grab him, or else I'm gonna lose him. <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go. 
Let's get this thing baited back up. Zero, zero. <laughs> Stay tuned. Get it off me. I guess that's why they say you just don't count them bitties before they hatch. I guess that's why they say that. We're out here. Bait it back up. Let's see how much time we got left in this thing. Looks like there's a nine minutes and a 30 seconds left in this competition here. And uh, zero, zero. I was hooked up. It's a dink, and it's going to give me a one, zero lead, but Hannah about to, she about to knock off hooks this week. She bought the Walmart editions. She should have bought Eagle Claw. Mm. Had, it, had it been Eagle Claw, this competition been already over. I want to thank everybody for the hilarious, I'm going to use the word hilarious, the hilarious text, text that we get daily from our family and family members regarding some, I guess some of the stuff they find funny on the channel. But it's worth it. We love hearing about it. But uh, I'm gonna turn this thing back on here in a minute. Guys, just as soon as I turn that camera off, they ripped me there and they broke off the stinger rig underneath. They jumped me, they jumped me. They hit one hook and then the other. Hannah was ducking and dodging for her dear life because I was over here snatching like Judge Judy snatch. Brandon, you're not Judge Judy be out there snatching them brims on that bucket. I snatched that in like Judge Judy do. Time's up. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. We don't know if we're going to go sudden death or day three. Let us check back with you. Look like sudden death. Hannah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look like a tree. Look like a tree. Look like a tree. Does it feel like a tree? No. Oh. He's going for him, he though. Oh, don't look. Look, look. Yeah. She's fighting that thing, but she's got to land him. And the good thing about this time... I don't have to help. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, be careful now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She changed the rules last minute. She said she wanted to go sudden death. <clears throat> and she's fighting that thing. And see Rachel, you hear it hollering? This is what I was talking about. Whoa. Well, you know, I thought he almost broke it then. I thought he almost broke it. Let's get on around. That thing's putting a whooping on that Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. Who's winning? Is he, he is he any good? Yeah, he's a good. We learned guys from watching the, the first fish that here I'll help you, I'll give you some flies. We learned after watching the first fish that it doesn't matter that you hooked up. It doesn't matter that you hooked up. We need things in here. The real assignment. You know. Hannah's looking a little questionable right now. <laughs> it's not looking like she's too confident. But uh, we'll just have to see how things go. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. He says, no, I ain't coming in here. He says, I ain't coming. Well, well guys, looks like there's the winning fish. What do you want to tell the people? He done whooped me. Oh, indoor behavior in here. Listen. <laughs> I almost threw my shoe at him. We know you'll do that. Well, I guess now I'm 22 and 1. But there'll be an immediate rematch. There was a clause in the agreement for an immediate I'm rematch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would need more of a um, description. In the agreement. <laughs> for an immediate rematch and for I'm gonna all the crap that you talked <laughs> I understand I'm gonna exercise that clause guys and tonight I'm gonna have to take my own advice and remember to just be patient with your woman I need a drum roll <laughs> you talk crap for three days in a row till this evening that you were gonna whoop me in this fishing competition I ain't seen you catch a fish yet you can't even <laughs> bring him in the boat Stay tuned. So you said the agreement was hand and foot, right? Hey guys, some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>